Hey everyone, this is the final vlog for SF Dark Justice. Um, I'm Alex O'Neill. We've had DJ up and running for the last couple of weeks after his summer break. Um, he's got an event coming up at the Ocala Fall Horse Trials in about three weeks, so we're quietly gearing up for that. He's been going great. We're just still kind of quietly building his strength up. Um, you can see him warming up here and I'm pushing the trot just a little bit quicker in the tempo, trying to get him to push a little more from behind and step up into that little bit bigger trot. Uh, I'm really happy with him. He's getting really consistent in the connection um, and he's just going great. I'm really grateful to Anne for all her support with this really nice young horse. We're just having a great time with him. Um, and in this, this part of the videos a few weeks ago, he was actually missing it. I think it was the right front shoe, but we've got good footing. So we went ahead and gave him his little jump school um, anyway. Again, just working on him, trotting a little bit bigger, pushing up to the bridle. And you can see his outlines getting really consistent. Um, he's able to travel with that little bit lower neck, which is where he needs to be for right now to build his strength in his back and in his top line. Um, and again, I'm really, really happy with him. I thought this was a good start to the day. Just kind of moving off, moving off my leg, getting going. Um, and these are kind of his first little warm up jumps. I just set a little vertical up. It was maybe novice height, maybe three foot. Um, and just trying to get him there really deep, getting him to work around it. He does really well from a big open stride, um, but we're trying to teach him that he can get there nice and deep and still is able to be careful and keep his coordination and things like that. And then we set this little grid. It was just kind of an open three to a short three. Um, and it was just to help with his elasticity between the jumps. You can see the first jump there, he gave me a really nice effort over the Liverpool. It surprised him a little bit, but he's got such a good mind that he's able to just give it that little bit extra without getting spooky or, or green in any way. Um, and then I did it back the other way here again, just putting him right up to the first one. So he's quick in front, understands that he needs to be mindful of that front rail, but still jump across. And then we put the Liverpool up a bit and then short three to that oxer. Just trying to teach him to hold off the jumps so I don't have to use the reins to guide him in terms of the distance that's in front of him. Um, and then just finished it with a nice circle, working on the connection again. And then this was, I think the last time I did this grid, um, I was really happy with him. I felt like he was listening, but he was also minding his own body and landing in a really nice balance on the correct lead, which is really important as these courses get bigger. Um, and then this was the, a few weeks later, I gave him another jump school. Um, there was some stuff in between, but this was the one that I got the most video of. Um, and again, just working on rhythm and balance and connection in between. You can see he's giving a really good effort over these. Um, and again, landing on the correct lead. And if he doesn't, I ask him for a change and he's responding really well. Um, and this line, was kind of a bending six. So it was a good kind of test for him to make sure that he landed and let me touch both of the reins and just guide him down the six stride line without getting too big. It walked a little short. So the fact that he landed and listened well really helped. And then I just put him through this little triple. It was just an oxer, one to a vertical and then two to another little vertical. And you can see there, nice change. And he's starting to really settle into the job and then this one's just a little square oxer again put him right up to it stayed behind him and he gave me a great effort and then always finish on the correct lead with him um, and that was kind of the last jump school here that i've had before that ocala event i'll do some cross country with him in between now and then but really happy with the way he's going and uh, looking forward to the the young event horse championships with him thanks everyone